Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to install Oracle WebLogic Server 14C and we will also cover Java 11 installation. Let's quickly see the architecture. We have one virtual machine which we have created in VirtualBox. On top of it, we are running Oracle Linux 9.0. If you want to see how to create virtual machine or install Oracle Linux, you can refer my previous videos. I will put those link in the description in this video we are going to install java 11 and then we will be installing oracle weblogic server 14c so the installation flow will be we will install java first then we will install weblogic infrastructure after that we will configure our domain and uh, as i mentioned we will cover all three in this video so to install java and weblogic we will have to download it let's see how to download weblogic and java to download weblogic and java you can go to oracle.com i will share these links in the description so this is the website and you can click on generic installer to download it similarly to download java go to oracle.com and you can download compressed archive from here So in this machine we already have java installed and this is our java home let us see the version so it is java 8 so we will install weblogic 14c with java 8 and later we will upgrade it from java 8 to java 11 so this is the zip file which we have downloaded for weblogic and after unzipping it you will get a jar file here we have a zip file which we have downloaded for weblogic installer so when you unzip it you will get a jar file and let us try to install here we will change our inventory directory and this is the welcome screen for the installation click next here we will skip auto updates and we will mention installation location here so this is our oracle home you can click view to see what products are installed on this oracle home so there are no products installed here let's click next we'll go with weblogic server next all checks are fine we can click next here we can save response file for the silent installation install so our installation is completed click next if we check this it will launch configuration wizard so click finish so our configuration wizard is launching uh, let us create new domain for that i will be changing the location you can also go with the defaults here we will go with the basic weblogic server domain click next so this is a administrator account i'll put the password and click next we'll select production mode and here we will select our java instead of this path we will select symbolic link this jdk click open next we'll select all three and click next here we will go with the defaults you can enable ssl and uh, mention ssl port as well we will go with per domain default location and we will give username and password for the node manager here we will add a server and we will mention listen address we will be adding a cluster here so we have only one server but just to see how to create cluster we are creating it click next we don't need any server templates we'll click next and we are not having dynamic servers as well so we'll go with next here we will add servers in the cluster next here we will create a unix machine i am giving name as a host name of our machine 
will mention the GID and click next. Here we will assign servers to our machine and click next. We can click create. So our installation is completed. Click next. So we have successfully configured our domain and this will be our console URL and this is our domain path. Click finish. Uh, let us start our server. For that you will have to go to domain home and then we can run start weblogic.sh there. So we have not configured boot.properties file so it is asking us for username and password so first let us configure boot.properties go to servers admin create security folder create boot.properties file here we'll mention username password let us start our server again. We'll start with no hook so that it will run in the background. And we can check no hook logs as well. So you can see it is now not asking us for the username password and server is in the running state. Now let us try to access admin console url so our console is up and we are able to log in into our admin console now in the left you can go to environment servers and here you can see we have admin server and we have weblogic server 1 and it is a part of our cluster to start weblogic server we'll have to start node manager and if you start without node manager it won't start so let us start our node manager for that you will have to go to domain home and then bin start node manager dot sh and you can tell no hook logs so our listener is started let us try to start our server so our server is starting if you want to check logs for this server you can go to server logs so let us go there so path for server logs is domain home then servers then server name and then logs we have this weblogic server dot out file we can tell it and you can see it is running now our weblogic installation is completed our server is up now we will try to upgrade java so for us java upgrade will be very easy because we had created symbolic link now if you want to see how to install java 8 and create symbolic link you can also check my previous video i will put that link in the i button so currently we have our java home which is pointing to this location and we have a symbolic link between these two paths so let us see in the server so here you can see we have a symbolic link which is pointing to this directory now in order to upgrade java we will install jdk 11 and then we will change this soft link from java 8 to java 11 so let us do that so i have copied java 11 tar file to this location so let us extract this one to extract gz file we will use gunzip command and you can see after extract uh, we have a tar file so to extract tar we will use tar 
minus xvf and here we have our jdk11 so we will change this symbolic link from jdk8 to jdk11 so first we will unlink this symbolic link so run unlink jdk so you can see there is no symbolic link now and we will create a new link minus s now you can see our jdk is pointing to jdk 11 now if now if we run java version it should give us 11 so our java has been upgraded we'll restart our server and it should reflect so before restart you can check java version in the server as you can see currently it is pointing to jdk 8 let us restart so before restarting our server we will clear temp and cache in our admin server for that you can go to domain home then servers then admin server and you can move these folders in order to clear it now we will start our admin server go to domain home and run start weblogic.sh you can also redirect no hoop logs to some custom file let's see that so our weblogic.log has been created we can tail this one so our server has been started and you can see it is started with jdk11 let's try to log in go to servers and go to admin server go to monitoring and you can see we have java version as 11 now similarly we will restart our manage server before that let's check the java version for the manage server as well yeah it is still jdk8 let us restart So our server has been restarted. Let's check the Java version. And you can see JDK 11 here. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will install Apache server and we will integrate Apache server with the web logic. So in this video, we have seen how to install web logic server 14c. And we have also configured our domain and create cluster. And we have also covered how to upgrade Java from version 8 to 11. If you found this video helpful, please like my video, subscribe my channel, and hit the bell icon for the further notification. Also, leave a comment so that I can cover further topics for you. Thank you.